Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I am back for the hashtag 50 stack challenge four, the fourth one of these challenges, where I draw two prompts each week out of my little brown paper bag. And you can see all the prompts are already in there. I just draw two per week. And then the idea is that you make one piece of ephemera for each of the prompts. Now, if you're doing um, like a full size collage or something like that, you can uh, put the two um, prompts together However you want to do it is fine. That's just the idea of it is to make one piece of ephemera for each prompt. Okay. So for example, last week I drew out of the bag French country. And so I made this little envelope with, um, you know, the little French saying there, floral, old writing. This just speaks to the, the French part of it to me. So, um, but you, you get to interpret it how you want. Everybody does, you know, a little something different. So that's how I interpreted the French country. And then for 24, I drew out masculine. So I made this little flip with a guest check and a little tiny brown paper bag. I just put a extra piece of writing paper there. Then this um, brown paper bag, you know, has the bottom that flips up. So I just turned it into a tuck. I feel it looks very masculine. So that's what I did. So now we're going to go to 25. Number 25 will be, I got to grab a pen to write with. Winter. <laughs> we're moving away from that. But yeah, winter. So however you want to interpret that. And you can just use, like, if you don't want to do, I mean, for winter, you might kind of want to do the whole scene in winter. But, for example, you could put a snowflake on something, and that's going to count as winter because it's a winter item on your piece of ephemera. Okay. These were all meant to be um, journal prompts or things that you could make a whole journal out of. Obviously, a lot of us do winter journals. So, um that was kind of the idea but if it's something that you wouldn't make a whole journal out of just make something that you will use and then number 26 is sewing again however you want to interpret that a lot of people do sewing journals so um yeah just something with a sewing machine on it a dress form like those that i just showed you would be perfect so anyways you do what you want and i will be right back okay i am back and so we're going to start with winter because that's the first one i drew um i have these images from my winter wonder digital kit and i realized that they go like really cool with this new kit <laughs> so i'm just going to use that um i didn't have a whole lot of winter wonder pages printed out so i'm going to go ahead and use these because i think they look lovely and it'll be a little something different winter but not totally screaming winter and I think I'm going to use one of these big guest checks these are bigger like I um, I made that uh, Easter hinge journal out of these and you can see they're bigger than the uh, regular guest checks that I have and I got these at a restaurant supply store so I don't know if it's something that you can find in your area or not so I apologize about that just one of those things sorry I'm looking for my ruler um, but yeah, if you have a restaurant supply store, they may have something similar. So I think I'm going to use this on the front of this. I want to put, you're not going to see any of those flowers that way. I could cut that down a little bit. It doesn't really need to be that because I don't want to cover this entirely. So let's just work on the idea that we're going to cut this down. So how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty darn good. It's um, just cloudy out today. I mean, but it's nice. I have the window open so you might hear the, the birdies tooting away out there. The robins are back and so they always have lots to say. I don't know exactly where they go when it's really cold, but they're around a lot here. So, and the house finches don't ever leave they're always here so we always have those and then we have some other like chickadee type little birds that hang out but yeah so. and 
our squirrel. <laughs> Such a nut. And likes to torment Pasha. <laughs> so that's always entertaining. I think I might just kind of do something like this. I don't know. I just thought this would be a different... I wasn't... I'm not really in the mood to do winter. I'm not going to lie. I mean, because I have like my winter... All-in-one winter kit and all that. But I'm kind of... I'm kind of not wanting to do winter a whole lot right now. I'm sure y'all can understand. But we're going to... At least that's a, not a hard one, that's for sure. So I think I'll just do something like that, and then you'll still see kind of that it's a guess check. I am going to ink it. So yeah, did I say hugs and blessings? I say hugs and blessings to Anna, Pama. I think that's right. I hope that's right. And Nancy. So I'm sorry if I, if I said that wrong. Um, thank you guys for always watching and your kind comments. I really, oh my goodness, so appreciate all of you. So, so sweet. And, um, yeah, it's just awesome. So if you watch my channel, but you never comment, I would love it if you would comment. Even just a smiley face or something, um, any kind of comment will help my channel. So I would love that and like and sub subscribe if you haven't. And then if you want to, you can even turn on notifications so you get notified when I put up a video, which is uh, five days a week I do a video. So I try to be fairly regular about that. Um, you know, sometimes life gets in the way, but that's what we, we attempt to do around here. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. People are mowing lawns, so that's very interesting. <laughs> it could snow again. I mean, we're supposed to get rain this weekend and uh, cool down, but it was getting up to 70, and I think everybody just got excited. So, But we could definitely get more snow. That's very, very possible here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of tear around her. Maybe I'll use my Tim Holtz cutter. It's kind of thick paper. I printed it on cardstock, so um, sometimes it doesn't always tear. Great. I still got to clean the glue off this thing. I don't think I'm ever going to remember because I, I say that, but then I put it back away and don't remember until I get it out to use it again and then I'm like oh that's good you know it's not like dirty dirty it's just smudgy because the glue gets everywhere I must say I hold that down and it still moves which kind of boggles my brain But isn't she pretty? She's just so pretty. So pretty. So this one probably won't take me super long, but... I've got some nice curve going on on that. I think I'll put it here didn't change a whole lot, did it? <laughs> and then I think I'll put some snowflakes on just to make it have a little more of a winter feel. And these are in my shop. I cut them on my glow forge. Like so many of the things I use. I want to cut a little more. I want to see more of those flowers. I mean, the bottom brown part, or it's actually kind of a greenish brown, but anyway, it's not like super important, I don't feel like. Okay. Oh, that's so crooked. Why 
do I move? Why does it move every time? It's weird. I'm holding it. <laughs> it's just not wanting to cooperate. Oh my goodness, sorry. I can't hang on to anything. All right. Yeah, I like that a little more. I just want to see a little more of that. I wouldn't mind seeing the blue flower too, but we'll go with those two white flowers. That'd be pretty. Okay. Let's get this glued on. I don't think it needs a whole lot of anything special. It's just paper onto paper. And then I have this other card because we'll... When that gets glued down into a journal, which won't be right now, but it will um, be another like side tuck, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, you might be able to hear the somebody's mowing right now. It's the constant drone from now until it snows again. <laughs> Got so many houses in this neighborhood now. It's just insane. Oh, and yesterday I wanted to take a walk again because it was lovely. Um, and some of you may have heard about this on the news. I know my friend Nan did because she asked me how my husband was. But... Um, there was a shooting at one of our hospitals. There was an inmate that was brought, and it wasn't the hospital my husband works at, just real quick out of the way. Um, an inmate brought to a hospital for care, and apparently a friend of his or something, somebody he knew, drove up to the hospital when they were coming out of the hospital with him, shot three of the guards, he ran, got in the car, and they drove off. So they've had a manhunt going, looking for that guy. So I didn't walk yesterday because I was like, I, you know, uh, weird, crazy stuff goes on when those manhunts are going on because people get desperate. Um, and we live a ways from there, but I was just like, eh, I'm not going to walk. <laughs> but anyway. So that was kind of a bummer because it's like, it just, it just used to always be so nice here. We didn't really, it just seems like it's been crazy in the last two years around here. But anyways, blah, blah me. So, um, yeah, what about the people that got shot? Yeah, exactly. So I, I think they, um, they all survived. I didn't hear that any of the guards passed away or anything but terrifying and I'm gonna round the corners on this one but yeah it just is awful so they still haven't caught those two guys so I don't know But yeah, it was a it was a hospital in Boise, and my husband doesn't work there. So at least that was good news. I'm thinking I might. I don't know. Do I want to back that with something? I guess if it's glued down, it'll get glued like this, and then that will be a pocket. So maybe we'll put a notch there. I know this isn't a very exciting winter thing, but. Like I said, I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> it's good to do these things, though, um, outside of that season, because then when it comes around, you have it. But, man, I am just not into that right now. So, anyway, three sides, and then you'll have a, a little tuck spot there. So that's my winter. I might put a word on it if I find some, find some of my winter words. That's the other thing. Everything's all put away, so... All right, so then sewing. I have this very old, fragile sewing 
pattern instructions. So we're going to make something with this. If I can get it to cooperate with me. It's very um, folded, very wonky. But uh, that's the way a lot of these things are. So what I'm going to do is glue... Glue this together. I think I'm going to cut down the middle first. It might be easier to cut it later, but I'll cut it. Yeah, this is from the 60s. I don't know exactly when. But I know it's 60s. But you can um, make all kinds of fun things with these sewing pattern instructions. I've made like little, uh, almost like book page. Really almost anything you can do with book page, you can do with these. So just think of them kind of like that. I think I'm gonna try to keep the folds that are here just because it's really like ingrained in it. And then wherever it hangs over, I'm just gonna cut it, I think. So yeah, you can, I've made, um, well, I've made journals from covers, you know, the little pockets of sewing pattern instructions. I've made journals from the, the little pouch and I've turned these into like little booklets or like I said, um, different kinds of pockets. I mean, you can just really make Anything. It's just paper, so you can make anything that you would make with paper. They're just fun. I haven't done anything with them in a while because I haven't done a sewing journal. I don't know if I will. I don't have one in, in my thoughts at the moment, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. I do have a sewing um, digital. I kind of want to do another one. I'm just, again, it's always difficult finding images. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better now that you can do the AI thing and generate them, but still it doesn't mean you're going to get a good image. That's, <laughs> and then a lot of times I still have to do a lot of fixing and tweaking and, <gasps> why is it sticking so bad to that? I don't want you to stick to that. And don't stick to yourself either. Oh. Ooh, how did I get... <sighs> there wasn't anything on that page. Because I tore it out fresh. That's annoying. Stuff is very... Very fragile. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'm just going to try to get it started, but there's a weird little gap thing. It's going to be all kinds of off, I can tell. It's fine. I'll just try to square it up when it... Goodness, you guys, it's so fragile that you can't even get it to lay down straight. Thought I started it good, but it didn't. I should have just glued the picture down to something else or, because the ones that I've messed with before are weren't this old and this one's like extra thin or something <laughs> sorry I'm probably making you want to scream <laughs> I just don't want it to be messed up quit try one more time It's not 
it's just not going to go together perfectly because it was folded so wacky but I think I got it well enough hopefully that it'll work just have to try to square it up a little bit a little wrinkled there but that'll be the inside so that's okay okay Ooh, that was stressful <laughs> okay now I'm gonna try to square it up because it's wonky You just want to make it a little thicker because, like, this one was way too thin to just use it as is, you know. I don't want to cut off the size thing. I like that. So I'm just going to cut a little of it. And then I think we'll go to... and a half. And then this way, we'll just try to kind of make it the same amount as at the bottom. That'll probably do it. Okay, so now you have basically a little, it's kind of a backwards booklet, but That doesn't matter because we're going to turn it into a tag and the tag is going to have an opening over here but then the rest of it will be closed so let's attempt <laughs> to do our corners so I am putting this a little bit more structured paper behind here, hoping I'll get a good corner clip. Okay. It was so fun last night because my kids came for dinner. This is just it was just fun. It's fun. And I'm unfolding it because I'm going to put a, a notch. And I want to put a pretty significant notch over here on the side. And this is all, I mean, I've seen people do these type of tags. This is nothing earth breaking or, you know, earth shattering. New. It's all been done before. So then when you close that, It'll be a pocket here, but it's a tag. So we're going to glue that closed. If I can figure out what I did. It's right there next to me. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. So I'm going to close it just top and bottom. And I am putting glue on these because I don't want it being floppy up at the top. I probably should have inked that, huh? I mean, it's pretty patinaed, but I still want it inked. So obviously you could do a tag like this out of any paper for any journal. It doesn't have to be for a sewing journal, um, but it can be, you know. And I am going to back it because I feel like you could, well, it's kind of sad. Look at all the sizes on there. Maybe we'll do sort of a, um, just a little bit of something maybe. Let's do this. This is from Betty Ann. Thank you, Betty Ann. I do love this paper because it is orange. It's from Onion Skins, but um, it doesn't scream orange, so I like it. It, it almost is more of a rusty 
sort of tone. And this one she put lines on, which is very cool. And I think I'll just kind of put not all the way. So you can still see some of that, but you could still write on there if you wanted to. Yeah, my winter piece is a little bit plain. I don't know what else I want to do to that. Like I said, I don't have my winter stuff out. <laughs> I did get out the one folder and found those pictures, and then I was that was I was just that was what I wanted to play with. But I didn't think it all the way through. But we can add to it. Now normally I would like my tuck on that side, but because of the way this folded, and I didn't want to cut this side open. But you could you could cut that side open and then um, use it that way. Not I'm gonna make like a tag out of this. I may end up just kind of gluing the whole thing together so it's strong enough. Which, wish me luck, but here we go. I think I'll just do a panel at a time kind of thing. And if you don't have old sewing patterns, but you've got some newish ones that you don't use anymore use those it doesn't it doesn't have to be old ones like this i just had these because they were gifted to me but i understand that sometimes it's hard to find the older stuff i know i struggle finding old stuff so every once in a while i can find some old sewing patterns at the thrift store or the antique store the problem with the antique stores is a lot of times they want to gouge you on the price of them and i just am not going to pay that to take them apart and stuff the art on the cover of them is so fantastic oh amy luckily it's going to be on the inside <laughs> um it's just so great you know you want to use it because i mean look at that that's so cool i just love it I've had people, when I've put stuff on Instagram out of these old patterns, get mad at me because <laughs> they collect them, which I understand, but I kind of collect them too to make art out of, and I'm using it again. I, I know they think I'm ruining it, but I guess that's just all in your perspective. But yeah. But I don't think I'm ruining any of the highly collect collectible ones because I won't pay the money for the if they cost that much. So, or what they call ruining, I don't think it's ruining. I'm gonna try to sort of cut along this green. It's crooked, so. It's not going to be a hundred percent. I'm just going to do sort of this whip. A little bit more. I'm trying to get it straight over here because over there it's all wonky. We'll just go with that. It's too tall though. Let me do. Nope, it's still too tall. I kind of want to keep the green at the top, even though it's crooked. 
I could measure this. That would probably be smart. All right, so we'll go six and a quarter tall. Oh, it is less than that. Well, that should be good. I know, I glued that top part. That's what the problem is. What's the world? Oh, because I'm a dingling. Um, six. So let's go five and three quarters. Just keep chopping at this till there's nothing left. idea what I'm going to put on this because I didn't come up with that part but we're going to decorate the front of this and we might worry about that another time because I don't know what to put on there it's just so cool the way it is that I don't where'd the other one go don't know okay So I took this, I got this idea from Tammy at Lou Fru Fru. She did a sewing journal. I just realized that's sound really weird. But anyways, um, and she put all these little safety pins. And that's, I, she did it different. Uh, this is just my remembrance of how I could do it. But I just did two strips of fabric, some threads, stitched it, you know, ruffled it a little bit or puckered it, whatever. And I'm just going to put that along there, like so. But I got the idea from her to put all the little safety pins. I like that. So thank you, Tammy. It's very cute. She did a whole, like, button cards and all kinds of stuff. If you don't watch Tammy, um, you should really go check out her channel because she just does some very cool stuff. And she has a lot of neat vintage pieces that she uses I wish I had <laughs> she's been doing this thing where she's not using digitals like no digitals allowed kind of thing which would be cool but I wouldn't be able to make hardly anything so <laughs> I have a few things like this but I don't have a ton so and then I think I'm going to tuck that in there and that's just a Tim Holtz little ruler but yeah she, she has some some neat pieces that she's collected I try to collect around here, but we don't travel much, and I just, there just isn't very much around here. Or they just want too much for it, and I won't pay it, so that could also be part of the problem. <laughs> Plus, I just have so much junk anyway, just from scrapbooking and stuff for years, that I don't want to buy any more stuff. Unless it's just something that really speaks to me. I do like, I like using the digital, so I'm fine with that. All right, I have that. I've got scissors. I kind of want to maybe put something on them because they're kind of hard to see buttons. That doesn't really help at all. Maybe. Sorry, thinking. Some statistics. because they'll look interesting on there. Uh, 
I know this isn't the 20s, but we're using this piece, I think. I could, let me see what I got. I think if I can find my gray. This might work. I'm going to get my fingers on that. Yeah, that sort of works. I mean, it's not like completely, but it just gives you that idea. I know I have that smoky color, that gray, but I think I can get it. It's the very last one. <laughs> Oh, yes. Sounds right. Um, so. Oof, that one's a lot wetter than the black one. Hmm. Say so I didn't want to get my fingers in it and then I do that. <laughs> I've got all these sitting here. What color could I do? Maybe I'll do. This isn't really the right. This is blueprint sketch. I don't have anything in like a navy. take that other pad off there so I'm just gonna <laughs> do this and these are in the shop too these are the grandma's attic uh, just all different buttons sewing machines scissors all that kind of stuff Red. Oh, sorry, that was. Ee. Could do another. I'm kind of a. Let's try this antique one in and see what we get. Oh, that's kind of cool. It almost looks like um, it's linen or something. Like it's got fabric on it. So I just got to let that dry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's do this up here. I'm actually going to hit those real quick with my heat gun. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got them dry. I'm gonna kind of go around the edge of this with my little fat pin here.
Sorry, I get quiet when I'm concentrating on this stuff. Oh my goodness, I knew I was going to do that. Darn. That's why you got to always keep the pin, if you do this, to the back. Don't come from the front. Because, like, it doesn't matter what I do with the back of it. Because I'm going to use that to put glue on. But don't ever do what I did. If you do this... Because you'll always do it. I always think, oh, I won't. I won't mess it up. It never fails. I mean, you could try to ink it too, but... You know, I'm doing it from the front again. Okay, so what can I do? I can put something else on there with it. Maybe. I kind of want to go around the buttons, too. I'm going to lay them down. Go around them. Hopefully that'll work. I just laid it down, went around the outside. I'm going to do the same thing to the little holes. That worked pretty good. Because you mess up, but it doesn't matter because you're on the back side. Just gets rid of the some of that uh, brown color. Same with the white, you know how we do. You could also put some thread through them, would be cute. I'm gonna ink them a little, since that didn't show up all that great. A piece of paper. Yeah, I'll have to find another image to put on that. I don't know. I might just leave it the way it is. I kind of like it. With the, all that old paper, it's kind of cool looking. And I forgot to put my pin in my glue. This glue's all dried out because I left the lid on. Uh, oh my goodness. Some days. Moved it all over the place. I don't know who's sawing what, but wow. They're having a good old time of it. I can't remember if I had them this way. It doesn't really matter. Right. 
take. Where is Um, I don't know what I want to put on there. Gonna attempt. Wish me luck. To sort of make that not a problem. Yay, it worked. Where's that for sewing? I got my my sewing on. <laughs> Where should I put the pin again? You guys. My goodness. Oh, it's right there. It needs to be neon orange or something. Okay, and then this will go in here and I don't know yet what I want to do with that, but I'm sure I'll find something because I need to find something kind of that goes, you know? So for winter, we have this one. And for sewing, we have that one. I'll bring this one up a little closer so you can see. And this card is just cute with the ice skaters. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon. Love you. Bye.